Hello friends, in this today's video, we will see how can we set up the mobile stream for connecting to our Linux servers and the Windows operating server. Most of the people still using the PuTTY, but in compared to the PuTTY, mobile stream provides some additional feature. With the help of that feature, we can directly connect to our server. In PuTTY, we need to convert the uh, we need to install the PuTTYJ and then convert that pm into the ppk and then we can connect to our server so mobile stream is better compared to the putty so we'll see the how can we set up the mobile stream setup on a windows so go to your google and search for a mobile stream install on windows click on the first link so we have to here two downloads option first one is a portable addition and another one is an installer addition click on the installer edition and download that packages in my case i have already downloaded this this is a zip file you need to uh, extract this file so i am going to extract in the same location once the extraction is done you can check the file type so this is the msi file Windows installer, click on the that file mobile stream installer, click on the next, accept the term and condition next, click on the next, uh, you can also change the path you want to install it all on the different location, click on this and our mobile stream setup is successfully installed. Now we are opening the mobile stream. So this is the mobile stream UI. You can select the dark or light theme. So my preference is always for the dark theme. If you want to connect to your Linux server, click on the session option. Then you will see the multiple options here like uh, SSH, we have Telnet, have then RDP, then FTP, SFTP. So let's see the how can we SSH to our server. So I'm going to connect to my uh, Linux server. So this is the public IP address of my server. Let me check the 22 is open or not. Yes, it is open. This is my public IP address. Press in the remote host, then specify the your username here. So my server is Ubuntu. and click on the advanced SSH setting click on the use private key option and then it will open the file and click select your private key so my this is the PAM file and click on the open option and click on the ok So it is showing me the you are connecting to this server the first time. Yeah, this then click on the accept. So here you can see I have successfully connected to the my server. You can execute any command using the mobile stream. So it is easy to connect to the server compared to the putty. Uh, let me show how can you connect to the RDP also. So this is my windows server i'm going to save my rdp file also click on the get password and then paste your private key 
so in the download folders i have my private key click on the open and click on the decrypt password so this is my windows password i am going to save it in the vs code then enter your remote stores in the mobile extreme now then username you will get in the here administrator username windows so this is my username windows username administrator Here we have like uh, advanced RDP options. Click on the OK option. And it will ask you the password, administrator password. So this is my password. Paste it here and click on the OK option. So it is asking me the master mastered password. This is not related to the uh, server related. It is asking me to set an password mastered password. I am connecting to this windows server first time so that's why it shows running little bit slow so now you can see that uh, I have successfully connected to the my windows server here so you can use the mobile extreme for your connecting to the your linux server or you or you can connect to, to your windows server so that's all in this today's video and thank you for the watching the video if you are any facing any difficulties while connecting to the server please let me in the comment section